Good morning, friends. Um, happy Monday. I am so excited um, that we get to study the scriptures together. Um, I'm really sad that we don't get to do it in person, um, uh, but I'm hopeful that we will get to very soon. Um, it's been hard and sad um, to not be with you guys and to not be with other friends. Um, I know this time has probably been hard for a lot of y'all, um, but I've been encouraged even by you know some of the ways that God is working through it, um, and the ways that we have been able to slow down and spend time with Him and spend time with our families and really think about our priorities. Um, and I'm grateful for you know things like Instagram and Zoom that allow us to still connect to each other um, and to study the scriptures together. Um, I'm looking forward to, um, I don't know, to look at Amos 5 and 6 with you guys this morning. Um, if you haven't read it yet, it's kind of confusing. Um, if you're not confused, awesome. Um, but if you are, that is okay. Um, you can go back and read through it a couple times. Um, I'm looking at a ESV study Bible um, and a commentary actually that Dr. Filson let me borrow. And both of those have been really helpful. I'd encourage you to use commentaries and use study Bibles um, whenever you're reading um, because it's you know super helpful for us to have um, the context that these passages that we're reading are in um, and to have the notes and uh, you know thoughts and commentaries of all these people who um, they're a lot smarter than me. Um, they know a lot more than I do and they've spent a lot more time studying these things. Um, and so I wanted to specifically look at um, one verse that, you know, is in Amos 5. Um, so this is verse 18, where they talk about this idea of the day of our Lord. Um, so it says, Woe to you who desire the day, of the, the day of the Lord. Why would you have the day of the Lord? It is darkness and not light. Okay, so I read that and was like, hang on a second. That's confusing. Like, what do you mean? I don't know exactly what the day of our Lord is, but it sounds awesome. Like I know that every single day, like God is doing his thing. Like all days belong to him. Um, even Corona days, he is sovereign over them. But if there is a day that is specifically denoted to be the day of our Lord, like that's awesome. Like it's probably a really good day. So why on earth would people not desire it? So this is how I'm feeling. I'm confused about it. So I go and look in the commentary um, and it turns out, <coughs> all right, the day of our Lord um, is the term that prophets use to refer to this day when God would come in and judge everyone's sins. Um, and so the Israelites actually were like really hype about this because they were expecting God to come in um, and conquer all of his enemies and like restore his reign um, and even restore them as a people. Um, and they you know, we're totally missing their own sin in this, but they're like, God is going to come in and he's going to smite our enemies and like beat up all the bad guys and it's going to be awesome. And Amos is like, hold up a second, guys. Like, this is the day that God is judging all sin. You guys sin a ton. So like, you shouldn't be super excited about this. Like, this is not going to go well for you either because they've all turned their backs on God. And I was super convicted by this. I think... We do the same thing. Like, we want God to come in and smite our enemy. Probably not that. But, like, we see injustices in the world and things that are wrong. And we see other people sin and we make, you know, we they're a big thing. Um, and we judge people for those things. And we're like, God, why do you let this stuff happen? But then when we look at our own sin, it's super easy to, like, make it really, really small and really nice and pretty. And, like, we only do the, like, small non-offensive sins but guys my sin is offensive like it's a big deal and your sin is a big deal uh, God doesn't take it lightly and neither should we um or you know if we were judged all on our own the day of the Lord would not be a good day for us um, but the good news is that on that day um, when God judges everyone's sin that we will not be condemned if we know Jesus um, because Jesus stands in our place um, and he has taken on all of our sin and given us his righteousness. So when God looks at Leah to judge all of Leah's horrific sins, he's going to see Jesus's perfection and Jesus's righteousness and utter lack of sin. And that is what God is going to judge. Um, and that is great news that we are not judged on our own merit if we know God. 
um, and if we have a relationship with Jesus. Um, I would love to hear what else um, stands out to you guys about this text and what you're learning about with your parents.